Hey, what's up, my people? How you doing? My name is Dalton, and this is my channel. Now, this video is all about the news, okay? Breaking news, latest news, news. I'm not going to cover everything, but I am going to cover a lot. So, I have my coffee. Mmm. Gotta love me some Starbucks. And no, I don't get paid for saying that. All right, and and thank you all for those who bought me a cup of coffee through my uh, cash app link that I put in my videos. Thank you. All right, now, before I go on, let me say that, yes, in the month of July and August, I'm not going to be around too much. Uh, I got a lot of trans transformational stuff going on, very positive. Uh, but I will post my videos on Tuesday at noon. I do my best to post at least one video a week on Tuesday at noon, okay? And I know every time I say something like that, I jinx myself. <laughs> Not about the job, but, you know, videos. Now, first thing I want to hit on is uh, FBI has put out a warning. This is serious. It came out today. Pay close attention. If you are looking for a job, you already have a job, or if you are a employer, pay close attention. FBI has put out a warning. Uh, there are these people that are stealing U.S. citizens' information, and they're using it to get remote work at home jobs right as you already know a lot of them some of them are illegal aliens that live in america inside of usa and some of them are people from other countries and to top it off they're using top knock notch technology that's right they're using something called deep fake deep d-e-p fakes f-a-k-e-s okay deep fakes and if you don't know what that is let me explain to you real quickly deep fakes actually they can scan your picture that they stole okay and they can have it the uh video uh software makes it looks like it's you that's talking to the interviewer okay and they can look like you and they already have your stolen story all your information that's right and it's a controversial type software that's out right now it's not illegal as of yet it's very controversial because anybody can use that create a crime and put someone else's face on it okay and a lot of major stars are having to sue a lot of these porn sites because they're using the star's face and putting it on someone else's body doing sexual porn acts. Yeah. This stuff, this is happening now. This is today. Okay. And anyone, anyone, even the President of the United States can be a victim of it. Okay. And these people that are illegally in the United States as well as in other countries are using this software to get remote work at home jobs in this in the United States. That's right. And this is an FBI warning. I will do my best to uh, link in the coming days that uh, the uh, give you the link of this article okay now number two russia oh i got my notes russia defaults on its debt and russia has not defaulted on a debt in over 100 years and russia defaulting on its debt will hurt other countries believe it or not people other country makes a lot of money from Russia. Okay. Now, Russia is almost like a way of Russia 
retaliating against what America and other and its allies are doing to Russia because of the Ukraine war. Now, why is this so scary? Okay, when Russia defaults on its debt, that does not mean Russia is hurting. It's just the opposite. When Russia is not paying its debt, and there's other countries that have done this, okay? But when Russia's not paying its debt, see, Russia gets billions and billions of dollars of, um, would you say, uh, revenue that comes to them in different forms a day. So when Russia doesn't pay its debt, all of that money just belongs to Russia. And Russia is not paying its debts, but what Russia is doing is putting a small amount of that money onto the Ukraine war, saving the rest, and get this, seem like our president don't get this part, it's actually helping and keeping the rest for its citizens, to keep its citizens safe, healthy, and in a positive state, in a sense, okay? So, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. So all these other countries that depend on Russia, whether they were, even though they were against Russia, ain't getting no money from Russia. But Russia is getting money in and stockpiling it. Okay? And other people that were, some of the countries that were helping out Ukraine, especially after this news got out, pulled back. Because, one, the other countries cannot afford to give, keep giving Ukraine money to fight this war and ignore its citizens. Hello. They got to take care of home first. Hello. I'm saying that because obviously Biden don't get that or any of those in control right now. Now, number three. <laughs> Biden gives 200, uh, he commits and he gives $200 billion over five years to middle and third world countries for infrastructure, yeah. So Biden is again giving the taxpayer money. And the reason he's doing this, and I understand why he, I mean, there's other countries that's also doing this and they all collaborate. I think it's gonna be a total of 600 billions total given to these other countries. And the reason they're doing that is because China, who is clever and shrewd, created a uh, a deal in which third world countries and middle, you know, second and third world countries can uh, sign up for it and get help with their infrastructure. All right, which would help their citizens. But the way China was doing it those countries would end up being in debt to China, okay? So what Biden is doing and working with other countries is trying to do the same thing, but uh, not let them, not, not make those countries feel like they have to be in debt because they, they don't want China to have that type of control, if you didn't know. Now, like I said, this is update news. Now, if you live, number four, if you live in the state of Oregon, let me get a sip, hold on. Now, if you get, if you live in the state of Oregon, you are going to get a state, not federal, not build back better plan, better plan, because that has not been passed, you're going to get a state stimulus. This stimulus is going to go to the middle and lower income families, okay, and individuals. And this, this will be for a total of $600, okay? So, 
Look at, if you're in Oregon, keep focus. Look out for that money because it's on its way. Okay? And it's really cool when a state, when states take leftover money and show that they care about their citizens, whether they're Democrats, Republicans, independents, it doesn't matter. They care about the people in that state, and so they will do their best to take that leftover money. I mean, that, that really shows a lot about that state. It shows that that state really does care about, you know, its residents and not just blowing hot air, okay? That's pretty good. Now, number five, the U.S. will offer near, nearly 300,000 doses of monkeypox vaccine in the coming weeks. Now, with, with a lot of mainstream News is not telling you. Do you know where monkeypox back came from? They found out where it was ground zero. That's right. It came from two people having unprotective sex at a rave. That's right. And I believe it was in New, uh, New England. I think it was in England. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know, the UK, yeah. And, <laughs> and that's where the monkey pox came from. Yeah, okay. Now, if you don't know what rave is, a rave is, uh, I'm going to tell you this hypothetically. <laughs> a rave is these sometimes known and sometimes secret parties when a lot of times it's techno music, really good music, and lots and lots of drugs, okay? Alcohol and drugs, okay? It's used, not everybody does that, but a lot of people does do, okay? And it's usually for younger, younger people or people in their 20s, you know? But you have people in their thirties, forties and all that going to them too, but not, not, you know, that's not the mass who come, go, who goes to them. And I mean, you know, I mean, you know, they, they do everything from ecstasy, you know, smoke weed, you know, and all that stuff at these, these little, these raves. Okay. So you can imagine someone's tripping balls. think they got a connection with someone. They're not going to do the proper precautions they normally would do uh, if they were sober. Okay? Which means they probably wouldn't protect themselves. They probably don't even know. And who knows how many other people that person had sex with that night as well. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Now, number six. Epstein's partner gets 20 years in prison for sex trafficking. That's right. She gets 20 years in prison for sex trafficking. So Miss High and Mighty and Rich and Cannot Be Touched uh, now gets 20 years in prison for sex trafficking. And, you know, let's just see how long she, you know, gonna stay alive and because she knows a lot and she probably could get her sentence cut down by telling a lot and there's a lot of powerful people who don't want their secrets told especially those who are secretly a pedophile or into you know, underage boys and girls and all that stuff and and has done stuff in the past, present, and even in the future, they don't want that coming out, okay? I mean, that scandal all, went all the way over to the UK, okay? I mean... <laughs> all right, now, number seven... 
Last but not least, <laughs> January 6th committee found out, uh, you know, if they're doing an investigation uh, about a lot of things going on with uh, and tr Trump's involvement, if he had any or not, with the January 6th attack on the United States democracy. Now, it it was stated that Donald Trump got so upset because he wanted to get in on that January 6th. He wanted to go out there and be in on it with that group. And he was told he could not, and he threw a tantrum and threw his food against the wall. Now, we know in America people don't get upset and throw things and or hurt people or throw tantrums. No, we don't do that in America. No, no, we don't do that. Uh, <clears throat> the only thing that really disturbed me is how he really, really wanted to get in to be part of the riots. He really, really wanted to be walking up there running with the proud boys and you know that's the only thing that really kind of disturbed me uh, that shows a major low mentality and that also shows uh, where he stands on a lot of things now I'm mad at him because he threw uh, his food against a wall when a lot of people that's out here starving we love to eat all them Big Mac, Big Macs, and delicious McDonald's fries that McDonald's make. Uh, you know, and he's going to throw his against the wall when he could, you know, you know. Shame on you, Trump. Shame. You know better than throwing away food. And you very seldom do by the look at your weight. So shame on you. Okay. But on that note, at least he did give us stimulus. At least he did try to take care of American people and give us stuff in the time of need. Unlike somebody else is doing right now. <laughs> now, number eight. Y'all gonna love this. I'm gonna end with this one. Y'all gonna love this. Congress goes on vacation in August. You heard me right. Those people in power that can give you $10,000 off your student loan debt, those in power that can issue you a stimulus check, okay? Those in power that can actually give you a debit card to help you with gas. Just to name some of the things, those in power, those who are in power that can actually do executive orders right now to help the American people are going to enjoy the taxpayers' money and go on vacation. In August, while you and I deal with inflation and the future prospects of recession. On that note, I hope you have a good one. I hope you have a great Wednesday. Hump day. It's hump day, baby. It's hump day. It's hump day. It's hump day. All right. I'll see you later. I'll talk to you later. I'll see you later. Peace out.